the worst things are happening. The things that are happening now are unthinkable, and they're unthinkable at the border. We have millions of people invading our country. This is an, ev an invasion. This is the worst invasion, probably. We've never had anything like it. No country has ever had anything like it. The number today could be 15 million people. And they're coming from rough places and dangerous places. And we had that shut down. We had everything going so beautifully. When Joe Biden goes to the beach, because somebody on his staff thinks he looks very good in a bathing suit, <laughs> until he can't get his feet out of the sand or lift the chair, which weighs about nine ounces. Joe Biden, if he would have just left everything alone, he could have gone to the beach. He would have had a tremendous success at the border and elsewhere. So we're going to take back our country. We're going to make sure. We are, we are going to do it right. We're going to have the greatest economy ever in the history of our country. We're going to top what we did. We're going to become an energy center of the world. We are ready to become energy dominant, and they stop that. They stop that. But we're going to become energy dominant. We're going to pay off debt. We're going to do things that nobody thought was possible. You know, we hadn't done our second phase of the tax cuts. When we did the tax cuts, the Democrats fought us very hard. And now they say, well, I guess that was pretty good, because we took in much more revenues after we cut taxes, and then we did all of those regulation cuts, and people were working, and everybody was happy, and we were all proud of our country. But we're going to win this election because we have no choice. If we lose the election, we're not going to have a country left. And we're going to do something. Thank you very much. We love you, too. And we love our country. And we can't let this magnificent some people call it an experiment. I don't call it an experiment. I just say this is a magnificent place, a magnificent country. And it's so sad to see how far it's come and gone. When you look at, when you look at the depths of, of where it's gone, we can't let that happen. We're going to straighten it out. We're going to close our borders. We're going to drill, baby, drill. We're going to get the inflation down. And we are going to make our country greater than ever before. And we're going to do it quickly. We're going to do it quickly. It's going to go fast. We have to get the criminals out. We have many, many criminals that have entered our country. We have people coming in from such, such bad places. And we're going to have to get them out. We have murderers that are being deposited into our country. We have drug dealers at the biggest and highest levels that are coming into our country. We have people coming into our country that just shouldn't be here. But many, and I say many, large percentages, they come in through the caravans. They come in many different ways. Now we find out again, they come in through airplanes. We send them in. This is crazy. But they come into our country. We're going to stop them. We're going to close our borders. We're going to have to deport a lot of people, a lot of bad people, because our countries can't live like this. Our cities, our cities are choking to death. Our states are dying. And frankly, our country is dying, and we're going to make America great again, greater than ever before. Thank you very much. It's been a big night. Thank you very much. Thank you.